Hello, boys and girls. I'm back. Gotta check under my tires. Same thing. I'll check under again. I swear to God, someone was standing behind my car, or on the street, on my car, talking and giggling the whole time. It was so weird. And then when I finally got out of the car, because I was reading how to do my gimbal and trying to convince myself that I can come out and do this because it's good for me and it's good for the world, that they're like, oh God, she's here. Um, that when I got in my car completely to uh, get out but then changed my mind, got back in, turned around, she's gone. Or actually, that's not the way it went. I went to go look to see the pay for park so I could do it from my phone instead of the credit card I was doing it from yesterday. And she's gone, I'm gone, gone, completely gone. Absolutely, utterly gone. Like she never existed. It was really weird. All I can figure is that maybe she was on a break from the restaurant I was sitting next to you, or I don't know. It's San Francisco. Hell, we probably have Xenu portals everywhere. Do they have them up yet? No, they have the window. They have the doors open. Let's stare at the doors. Hi, I'm back. Hi. How are you? <sighs> wow, that whole look of, oh crap, not again. Look at my pyramid. Hello, pyramid. Hopefully my gimbal won't mess up. Let's walk back again. Hello. Hi, here we go. I have to get everything together. I have to get the doors closed. Hi, I'm wondering what you're doing. I am not gonna go on you. That's not nice. So I'll go look over here and I'll pan back so I'm not interfering on somebody's space. That's not nice. So, hello. Oh, they closed the doors. They're gonna be putting up the curtains next. Ah. <sighs> Poor babies. I bet you they hate me. What time did I come in today? I can't even look at my watch right now. 2.14. So I'm only going to be here for like a half an hour. So we start with the doors closed. And then they'll find me. Hopefully won't put nails under my tires. So that girl just was talking to her boyfriend or something on a break from the restaurant. It's so bizarre that she just disappeared. <laughs> I wish I could go through Scientology garbage. But like I said, it's probably illegal here because we have the politicians and the celebrities and stuff. Um, they all live here. And so it's probably a bad thing to go through their garbage, even though I would love to. So that sort of wigged me out. I don't... I don't know why. I, just, I know I shouldn't, I should expect it. But maybe if I walk past their garbage, <laughs> they'll come and take it in. Let's see, what's in the garbage? Should be nothing interesting. It really shouldn't. They eat a lot of junk food. Well, Chinese food, <laughs> we're next to Chinatown, so of course. Um, some kind of ribbon. It's a gold ribbon. I wish I could cut it. I should have brought something to cut it with besides my barrettes. I have those tactical barrettes on. The ones where I can open door doors, open boxes, which I'm sure also helps for telling someone to stay away from me. So, I think there's a deli or a restaurant across the street that I need to try because, you know, I should uh, help with the consumerism in the neighborhood. 
So I'll just sit here quietly and hope nobody pays attention to me. <laughs> That's not likely. I wonder how long it's going to take to get the doors. Maybe I was torturing them yesterday with the uh, cameras going in and out and in and out. So I don't know. And this guy over here is now staring at me. But hey, isn't it wonderful to be paranoid? <sighs> I've thought all my life not to be paranoid. Not that I really am, but you know, just because I see them doesn't mean they're not out to get me. Blah. So, and living in the tech world and having my whole life being tech people, I do have everything I need and want in my computers and phones and I do pay for ad blockers and VPNs and things like that. The only thing I did or didn't do was I took my privacy screen off my phone. It was driving me crazy because my car mount is in a completely different area than my eyesight because you shouldn't have it in front of you. So with my privacy screen, I couldn't see it. Well, Pearl Snappy says, get one. Since she's a cybersecurity expert, I have to get another one. So it's coming on Amazon today or tomorrow. And I'll just have to figure out what to do with the mount. Maybe get a old fashioned one that snakes out that I can see and get rid of my magnets in the back. Ugh, it's gonna make me feel so retro. Anyway, as you could tell by the voice, the husband said that my voice changes. So it's not always the happy fluffy voice this is the I'm instructing people voice, I guess. Yeah, I'm instructing people to make sure you never show what's on your phone. When you hear people yapping outside your car, always be mindful of them. I closed my window so she knew I knew she was there. This is interesting. This is a bus. I wonder what the bus is for. Still haven't figured out my white balance, so maybe if I go here, then I'm just reflecting. Once upon a time, I wanted to be a real photographer. And my wonderful brother got me a Leica somewhere. One that used film. It was a beautiful camera. And I learned how to use it. And unfortunately, it was the 80s. And people have drug problems and it got stolen immediately. But I do know how to develop film. Maybe. Brain fog. Who knows? So... I wonder what this is all about. Wait, isn't this some kind of weird thing that I'm reflecting The building in the bus? Ooh, that's kinky. I like that. Let's see. Let's back up a little bit. And go into the sun. No, no, see the sun's messing it up now. Let's let's do it this way. Looking in there. Looking in there. Hello there. Okay. We can do it from here. Now it's still reflecting the building. So that's good. It's sort of kinky. It's the, we're taking you away, ha ha, he he, ho ho, bus. From the ha ha, he he, ho ho, building. Isn't that nice? So we're staring at the tree, table. I got the dirtiest look from that crowd. The woman next to, the woman in the blue in the front, she stopped till I stopped filming the bus. That's why I turned it towards the doors. And then she just looked back at her people like, Rawr. Okay, I think they're tourists for real, so. But I'm not a very good judge of character sometimes. 
When I go in the public, I give them a thumbs up until they get a thumbs down, but today's is a paranoid to begin with. Everybody's giving a thumbs down until they get a thumbs up. <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't have my tea with my local honey last night, so my allergies are sticking out. I wonder if there's anything on here. Ooh, we have the infamous hanging over the bus thing. Let's see what it says. Commercial tour vehicle placard. King's VIP transport, one of two. Golden Gate National Recreational Area Commercial Use Authority Program. Nothing else though, bummer. Boring. But, looks like they're gonna go camping? Boxes and stuff. And the person in the back. These things reflect like stupidly. So there's the person in the back. I'm sure she hates me showing her. Oh, hello! <laughs> Getting news to it. The curtain should be back by the time I'm back. Hi! Yeah, those curtains are closed. Let's see. These curtains are closed, which would really suck. You figure, oh, wait. Are they taking down some of the... Oh, and I plead, I'm sorry, these curtains are still open, uh, to Scientology traffic, I think. They probably got the curtains closed on them first because they did a total great thing on Thursday. Ooh, the curtains are open. You can see through it. Can you see that stuff? Nope, let's go back in. Back in. Back in. That's me. That's me. I can't see what it is. Oh well, at least it's, they'll close the curtains here soon then. It's got driving crazy. It's gorgeous out here. No, no wind again. It's so weird. Anyway, I think I was zoomed in most of the time. So yeah, she was here on Sunday for a million hours. More like an hour and 45. Um, like really getting in people's faces, or not, she wasn't. The North, Northern California version of getting in people's faces. So, um, she probably had the curtains turned on her. I, I excuse me for being so, um, Conceded to think that I would be the first person they do it to. Can you see my little clippy clippies? Let's see. Let's make it show the there. Those clippies. They're like tactical clips. You can open a box, can measure something. I think I can open a beer can with them or you know do all the really cool stuff with them. So, very weird. I love them. It's my, my Death Guild crew. We're all a bunch of Mad Maxers. You know, everybody wanted to be uh, in a Mad Max movie when we were all younger. I think now we just wish we were already in the other world. Wait, how does this go? I haven't seen Mad Max in centuries. Uh, Thunderdome, after Thunderdome. I don't remember after Thunderdome. Uh, was there another one after Thunderdome? Hmm. It's out again. Can you believe that? Doesn't it just make you wonder? Cartons. I know I wasn't being super rude by standing here, but, oh no, they're not. I was just looking at other curtains. I guess I should stand here then so they put up the curtains. 
because that would be the point is to get the curtains up because if we can get the curtains up then nobody will want to come in and just see curtains oh this is a, see I don't know how to do it Then they'll just see curtains. Is there anybody to stare at? There's that one lady back there. I just went to the chiropractor and got adjusted. Oh, that was so much fun. Especially after my fall. I didn't know I had so many things messed up. Let's see how long it takes her to go into the back. <sighs> see, I have no ill will towards them, so I am not being a nuisance. I have ill will towards their business, which would be an anarchistic way to think about it. Thank you, DOA. I'm an anarchist. I am just a nonviolent anarchist. Oh, wow, that's like one of those movies where they come out behind you. It's like the Gilded Age when, you know, they're introducing the new chick. Oops, sorry, it's having a ball. I read too much. See, this is, I'm at the dangerous stage where I know too much. So, just chattering along and they're not closing the blinds. I wonder why. I wonder if there's something going on here tonight or this afternoon or something. I have to go looking for the chick who pan pans out um, uh, brochures. Remember she walked by me yesterday. She had to be in Barcadero Center. I can't see her on Mission Street right now or Market Street right now. It's not very interesting. So she had to be in uh, Barcadero Center um, handing them out to the people. Because, you know, people are ignorant. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. My main topic for today, besides torturing uh, people who torture other people, no, torturing businesses that torture other people, is for... Osa and former Osa to not assume that anybody who has a high voice or who is very compassionate or seems very light and fluffy and um, helpful and loving is weak. That's the last thing we are is weak. And you're finding that out. Um, We've been dealing with our voices and our attitudes and our compassion since puberty, I guess you could say. Um, most of the time it's made us stronger. So if you see activists who just remind you of Cinderella, stay away from them. They're evil. They can, they have a lot of hi. Oh, I won't film you. <laughs> Amazon guy. <laughs> um, we have a lot of resources. And with the internet, we've got a ton of resources. Uh, and we make friends and keep them. Uh, so usually our safety is very taken care of and our backups are taken care of since we've been making ourselves public. So that's the thing. Don't think that the quiet, nice, fluffy sounding ones are um, vulnerable. We are to an extent and that's just, a, it's the same as normal people. But you get us angry and we will, defend our worlds as much as possible and make sure that our worlds don't get destroyed because they are our worlds and we worked really hard to get there.
Have a good day. <laughs> the Amazon guy loves when I'm doing this. So, we should just sort of. So, hey, remember that thing was going through yesterday? I, we should look at it and see what it is. Let's see. Let's focus to it. And then I can kill. It should stay there. Like a lock or something. Nope, not there. Nope, doing it wrong. Nope. Find out what we were watching through a break. Okay, that's what I want. Now I lock and go in, right? <sighs> I've just been sitting there watching um, Marilyn Honig, Kelly Copter, Mindy in LA, Willens, W-I-L-E-N-S, or did I mess that up? get attacked and they just don't give in like you would expect pretty fluffy women do because well even uh, even Kelly Copter is older um, all of us are out of our 20s. Some of us are out of our 40s. And how do you think we survive in the state that we're in? We survive in the state that we in. We are in because we have huge survival instincts. Um, when I first started working guest lists and clubs and things like that, People tried really hard to think that I was just this little fluff bunny. And it's amazing how as a little fluff bunny, you can tell someone to go to hell and look forward to the trip. Uh, so just don't assume, and rabbit hole news, don't assume that we're gonna bend when a hard wind blows. I grew up in San Francisco, Oakland, uh, Hayward, Alameda, uh, San Leandro, Fremont. There's a lot of wind here. It's not Chicago wind, but it's wind. So we don't break. I used to love to go outside and play in storms till I went to Tennessee and then almost got hit by lightning. <laughs> so I don't play in storms as much anymore, but that's the thing. We are very resilient. We are very, weirdly enough, brave in our own way. Um, and we have a huge survival instinct. I think that was a major thing that was going through my head today, but I had to come here and hang out. It's like, someone's gotta tell me what this is <laughs> because they haven't pulled the curtains on me yet. And I don't know if they, don't, if they realize that I'm doing this um, or is it they just can't see me? I've seen the can interviews, the, the real ones. I've heard uh, SBT for Life when he went into the Seattle org. Their assumptions that we are ignorant is rather amazing. Um, but this seems to be like a cat's ignorance here. Since I'm not in their line of sight, they don't think I'm here. It's very possible, um, which doesn't bother me. down ah that's better isn't it they've got to see me I can't believe they're doing this. let's see one camera doesn't look brand new whoops oh okay I'm supposed to be following that okay um, yes and in tech world we all have cameras we all replaced our camera, our doorbells with cameras, 
so I have at least one camera doorbell that works perfectly fine that I get notifications for all the time. And if my other techie developmates who live all around me see something going wrong around the house, they'll definitely tell me that maybe my cameras aren't working. So it wasn't for paranoia. It was for laziness. When we found out that we could thank people through a camera, oh my God, that was better than, you know, uh, real life whipping cream. <laughs> so, and then the back one, uh, to see if anybody's messing with our stuff in the back. So that's fun too. It's like notifications, notifications. My, uh, world is filled with notifications. It's gotten to be like the train. I just pretty much ignore it. So is this long enough? I think this is long enough. Ow, my arm hurts. My arm hurt yesterday when I did this. So. Let's see. Whee! Let's go look at them and show them that we're still here. Oh, they will left. No, they haven't. people we're still here probably wondering where we were actually the there are two cameras or one camera one they'll get more come on there have to be tech natives here that are willing to network their butts all over the place Let's see I took my glasses off guess I have a half a million pairs of sunglasses so she's behind my scroll work. She's still behind my scroll work. I want her. Let's see. I wish you could come out of there and go home to your own home where your family would forgive you. And if you're a second gen, you can get out and come and hang out with the people who are sympathetic to you guys, because we know if you're a second gen, you had no choice. And don't be afraid. It's not like they're gonna, they can kick you out and we can help you. That's what we do. Well, part of what we do besides exposing all of this stuff, because we want this place closed down, because it's not a church, it is a tax shelter. It is the ultimate tax shelter with a... It's like if Star Trek turned into a church. It wouldn't work. So, and that's what this is. This is a, a science fiction... A Twilight Zone turned into a church. See, that just doesn't make sense. So, because it doesn't back you up with anything either. So, um... It doesn't really help the poor and needy, the stuff they talk about. You'd see it demonstrated more and I'm sure the news would love to show if uh, they were doing real needy things, not renting out buildings for food drives. Um, the, all the money they spend on new buildings or refurbishments like this beautiful one um it never gets back to the people they never you know even to take your courses at a lower price you have to work um you're all technically volunteers maybe that's what the um hiring sign is about is that uh they have to hire at least one person <laughs> Uh, at a real rate. I was talking to somebody yesterday and we were sort of hoping that we would have saw it, but I don't think I could have worked for them. Ooh, what's that? I've never seen that.
fully trust each other, there will be peace on earth. I'm sorry if I'm triggering anybody with that one, but I have never read that. I'm sorry I'm wobbling. God, I feel itchy now. And I haven't closed the curtains yet. I gotta walk around. I guess I, tomorrow I have to wear the leopard again. Oh crap, I'm not coming here tomorrow. Because, what is wrong with my gimbal? I am going to a funeral service for a friend's father, a very close friend's father. I have never met him, but was asked to be um, just support. You know, that's what you do. So tomorrow and 